In this presentation, you are going to learn about IOM. Let's start. IOM stands for International Organization for Migration. IOM is the leading intergovernmental organization in the field of migration and works closely with governmental, intergovernmental and non-governmental partners. The organization is guided by the principles enshrined in the Charter of the United Nations, including upholding human rights for all, respect for the rights, dignity and well-being of migrants remains paramount for the organization. Formation The IOM was established on 6th December 1951 as the Intergovernmental Committee for European Migration ICEM, to help resettle people displaced in World War II. IOM became a United Nations agency in 2016. Headquarters The headquarters of the International Organization for Migration is situated in Geneva, Switzerland. Let's move on. Official Languages The official languages of IOM are English, French and Spanish. Members IOM has 175 member states eight observer states and offices in over 100 countries. IOM is dedicated to promoting human and orderly migration by providing services and advice to governments and migrants. I have attached a PDF file with the description of 175 member states and eight observer states. Objectives IOM works to help ensure the orderly and human management of migration to promote international cooperation on migration issues, assist in the search for practical solutions to migration problems and provide humanitarian assistance to migrants in need, including refugees and internally displaced people. The work of IOM is guided by several core frameworks. The 12-point strategy adopted by the Council of IOM in 2007 outlines the core objectives of the organization and provides an effective description of the scope of IOM's work. The 12 points of strategy are to provide secure, reliable, flexible and cost-effective services for persons who require international migration assistance. To enhance the human and orderly management of migration and the adequate respect for the human rights of migrants in accordance with the international law. To offer expert advice, research, technical cooperation and operational assistance to states, intergovernmental and non-governmental organizations and other stakeholders in order to build national capacities and facilitate international, regional and bilateral cooperation on migration matters. Fourth is to contribute to the economic and social development of states through research, dialogue, design and implementation of migration related programs aimed at maximizing migration's benefits. Fifth point is to support states, migrants and communities in addressing the challenges of irregular migration including through research and analysis into root causes, sharing information and spreading best practices and facilitating development focused solutions. Sixth point is to be a primary reference point for migration information, research, best practices, data collection, compatibility and sharing. Seventh point is to promote, facilitate and support regional and global debate and dialogue on migration, including through the international dialogue on migration so as to advance understanding of the opportunities and challenges it presents and identification and development of effective policies for addressing those challenges and to identify comprehensive approaches and measures 
for promoting international cooperation. Eighth point is to assist states to facilitate the integration of migrants in their new environment and to engage diasporas including as development partners. Ninth point is to participate in coordinated humanitarian responses in the context of interagency arrangements in this field and to provide migration services in other emergency or post-crisis situations as appropriate and as related to the needs of individuals, thereby contributing to their protection. Tenth point is to undertake programs which facilitate the voluntary return and reintegration of refugees, displaced persons, migrants and other individuals in need of international migration services in cooperation with other relevant international organizations as appropriate and taking into account the needs and concerns of local communities. Eleventh point is to assist states in the development and delivery of programs, studies and technical expertise in combating migrant smuggling and trafficking in persons, in particular women and children, in a manner consistent with international law. Twelfth and last point is to support the efforts of states in the area of labor migration, in particular short-term movement and other types of circular migration. That's it for now. We will come back with a different topic. Till then, keep watching Narvi Academy.